In this video, we're looking at creating an edge mask with some bitmap nodes. I've already created the 3D text that I'm going to use. What I'm going to do is straight away is go to the render 3D and I'm going to add a color corrector. Now, if we view the color corrector in the viewer, we can change the color of our text. What I'm going to do is just use this to create a color on the edge of the text. I'm going to select just underneath the nose, press shift and space bar and type in bitmap. From the render 3D, I'm going to come into the bitmap and then put that in the viewer. And as you can see, we've got a nice alpha mask of our 3D text. I'm going to copy the bitmap, so Control and C and then Control and V to create another one. And I'm going to connect the 3D text into that one as well. Put that in the viewer. And at the moment it's identical. But if we come into the inspector, we can change the paint mode from merge to subtract. The screen has gone black because we've got a mask on top of an inverted mask. But what we can do in the second bitmap, in the center, control has just come to the Y and lifted up a little bit, and that will give us our edge mask really quickly. You can pipe this into the effects mask of the color corrector, view the color corrector, and then we can change the color, and we get this nice color on the edge. I'm going to bring up saturation and bring up the contrast. And by using the color corrector, we can change the color on the edge of our text to get the effect that we want. Really simple, but a really effective effect. Add an edge mask to your 3D text. If these are the kind of videos that you like, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Give us a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.